Joey Diaz, I got to tell you, man, you're the real deal. Just so, just hanging out with you for 10 minutes before the show. Nothing makes me happier. You're just, no, a, you're just, just a fucking real guy. You don't fuck give around. a shit. No, there's no. All Talking shit, shit about Sober October, making me laugh about fucking Ari. I just got here doing bonnets. What, yeah. what are we, we going to do? It's a beautiful day to be alive. It's 80 degrees outside. We got our legs. Yep. We got our arms. We got our right. health. Right. Uh, no yeah. ED. No erectile dysfunction. You ever get one drop on you? Fall down? Flight of stairs? Well, what's that? Your dick? Uh, I'm getting to the point now where you get it there, and once you bang out one, then you're done. Done. Like, done. It used to be where I could <laughs> shoot one that would stay half of the tension. Yeah. And then you go back in there for the second stab, and that lasts a little longer, and everybody sees stars. Yeah. That got cut out. Now I got a, I got a twenty four hour shot clock on mine now. Yeah. It resets. Yeah, twenty four yeah. hours. It's it's. Uh, and the yeah. worst is I I'll go to my office. I got an office like this, about the same size, just fucking all business, and little couch. And uh, you know I'll watch some Japanese hidden camera massage porn, lesbians. <laughs> and I work one out, and then I come home that night, and the wife throws a move on me after the kids go to bed, and I got to look her right in the eye and go, "Too late, sweetie." too late that one's gone no i usually don't bang one out in the daytime i'm no? a late night type of dude really yeah i don't know why i'm not a daytime banger either i like late night when i got nothing to do at night you're bored you might as well bang one out i go take a pee and i'll bang one out standing up no shit yeah i'm old school I standing up yeah. you land it all in the water or is it all over the Fuck place yeah no i landed right in the toilet and then i close it and it's a little space sea monkey remember in the 70s <laughs> You put that powder in the water and you close the sea <laughs> monkey. I got a back bathroom. Yeah. I'll come in that toilet. I'll put the <laughs> lid down. I go away. I come back two days later. I got like a half a kid in there. There's like a, there's like a hand with a fly on it in there. It's telling me, help me, help me. Get the fuck out of there. Flush them down the toilet. You got a herd of fucking horses. I got a back bathroom that gets those retarded flies. Yeah. Okay. I, I, when what I take what a do you shit, mean? They're slow? They get big and slow? I don't slow? know what happens. I open up the door and I take a shit. And while I'm taking a shit, I, you know, I, I love taking a shit with the back door open. Yeah. I, I, the per, when we rented this house and I saw the layout, nobody comes to that bathroom. You have to walk through too, too many mazes. So it's my bathroom. I got a couple <laughs> kettlebells on the floor. I got some club weights and shit. I got two punching bag, uh, two gloves in there. I got my bong in there. I got that like wall watching the back door, my Santeria stuff. And I got the shitter. And it's perfect. And I open the back door. And the sun comes in at 6 in the morning after my first cup of coffee. And as I'm fucking smoking bong, it's this shit flying out of my ass. When you cough, what's better than coughing out of bong? It There's nothing better. No, it comes right out. And for some reason lately, as you get older, you get those extended pieces of shit. What? The ones that aren't long no more they they're like six inches but the middle has like a four inch gap yeah like a mushroom cap. right so your ass stretches out for a minute yeah it's like fucking you guys are both saying yes like I, what are you talking well, about yeah, as you get older your body changes okay you young guys so your shit's changed so the, 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 like, like last a... week last monday and i gotta be honest with you i'm on i'm very I, I do not do pain pills but i had an altoid can that <laughs> people give me on the road People give me the different pills. I put in my little Altoid. Like Vicodins, hydrocodone, whatever. I got whatever. everything in there. Do you know what each pill. one is? No. Uh, <laughs> not really. Not really. You know, I have an idea, <laughs> but not really. So some nights, you know, so when we had the last night before Sober October, we came in here and we and I had like six codeine threes, and I ate them. Let me tell you how much I don't eat pain pills. They clogged me up all week. Oh, yeah. That's the problem. They destructed me all week. Coffee. I could feel the shit in my stomach. Yeah. I finally said, fuck this. The other morning, I ran over to Pete's, the Mexican place up there. They got a fruit salad. Whenever you eat there, at the end, they give you a fruit cup with the Mexican cream on top. It makes you fucking your dick hard just eating it. Yeah. They give you a couple of blueberries and raspberries and strawberries and uh, melon, the, the green melon. Right. It's tremendous. I just went up there and said, give me a fruit thing with no cream on it give me half the cream i ate the whole fucking thing and friday night i was on that throne like i said they were coming out in chunks yeah you could hear it it's like people throwing sheetrock off the yeah, roof yeah. it was like bah, 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 bah. 
<laughs> and your asshole is distended. Three, three times I went in there, and it was like 10 minutes of bah, yeah. bah, like flushing. I had to get up and fucking get the pogo stick and push it down. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you call that thing. Loading a cannon. I yeah. had a fucking, I got the big extended one for gorillas. Yeah. The ones that use at the gorilla cage in the Bronx Zoo. I'm pushing down on this motherfucker. <laughs> but for some reason, I attract, I attract these flies, and they go against the bathroom window, and they kind of get retarded. Yeah. Right. So after a few days, they just come into my lair, and I got a little weed container. <laughs> a glass container that's empty weed, and yeah. I put them in there. I t- take one of their wings off to fuck them up a little bit, and I put little holes and I feed them weed. I just give them weed, and for three or four days they're just eating weed. They don't know, <laughs> and I just put more flies in there. I got about eight of them in there right now, and they're oh, fucking. Do you let them out? No, no, they're in there. I'm like, That's Hanna- it. I'm like that dude in Hannibal Lecter that collected the bugs and put them up chubby chicks pussies. Yeah, and then he would drop them off in the weeds <laughs> off the 170. What's remember the. <laughs> Put the cream on the skin. That dude, the yeah. creepy dude. Drop the yeah. de, lotion in the yeah. bucket. Drop the lotion in the bucket. I don't remember yeah. bugs going in the pussy in that movie. That no, movie. There was a moth. Remember? It was a moth. Oh, God. I don't, I don't remember that He would part. put moths in their mouths or something. Oh. Yeah. That's how they found them. They right. found the moth in the mouth. and Right. They, they figured out that the moth got sent from some other country. And yeah. They no, I used to take those Vicodin. I got, a, I got shoulder surgery. This is probably going back five years. I got shoulder surgery just from repeated throwing shit my entire life. Just the right the right shoulder needed to be rebuilt. And they gave me, I had the surgeon write me Vicodin. I had the general practitioner write me hydrocodone. I had uh, somebody in physical therapy write me somebody. I, I was filling every, everyone for fucking nine months. These guys kept refilling it. And then I'd go into people's medicine cabinets. If I came to your house for dinner, I'd excuse myself to go to the bathroom and I would rifle through your shit and I would take your hydrocodone. If there's anybody out there, friends, family, that have had me over in the last five years and you think you got a little hydrocodone left for when you get a, a backache, you're going to have to refill that. That's gone. Thank you for the honesty. Yeah. That's why I don't put my shit in the bathroom. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'd go to open houses. I got my medication in the weirdest places. Yeah. Like my blood pressure medication <laughs> in the kitchen next to the refrigerator, so I'm reminded to take it. Yeah. And all my meta 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 do pills. Or I got them hidden. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Those are hidden because I don't want Mercy to find them. I know you got to get a safe. And I don't. First of all, I don't have them to put up in my. Like some people take them and they put them in their medicine cabinet. Yeah. I don't have the anxiety shit the doctor gives me. Yeah. I don't put it in there. I don't even take it on the road. I wash more of those anxiety pills that I oh, take. Oh, you told me. You put them in your pocket before I you come to the store. I wash more than I take. Yeah. You know, so. 